What's up, my dudes? And dudettes, welcome back to the channel yet again. Today, we're going to do something a little different. No Jeep stuff today. We're going to be working on the Honda. I got a radiator a couple months ago from AutoZone. It's been leaking ever since, and I just haven't had the time to take it out. But finally, I have some time, and I think I'm going to make a video on how to do it. Quick, simple, to the point. No B-roll, nothing like that. So, let's get to work. All right, guys, I told you. No fancy B-roll. Just getting right into it. First, you want to do is you want to take the plastic cover off. I like to take everything off first and then get to draining it. You can drain it first. I'll show you where those are at. But right now, I'm going to take these off. I have what do you call it tools, but with these, you have to get, I don't have the one that gets in these little grooves. So I'm just going to use my flathead and hopefully not break any. So uh, let's go. y'all where this thing is leaking from you can see you can see around the top where it's like leaking and then out of there it's also leaking actually a crack under here that's leaking out of and it's leaking a little bit from the bottom i got this out from autozone this was from day one i just was so lazy to not take it back out that i just left it like this for months we're gonna take this out and we're gonna go back to autozone and get a new one hopefully that one isn't leaking yeah so let's get the let's get the coolant drained out all right guys so after you get the little cowl off the top come down here you want to drain it you can see if you get under here you can actually see the drain plug it's literally right it's right here you see it when my hand is touching it that's the little drain plug for here so i'm gonna twist that out and drain all this but let's turn that and get this coolant out of here or not <laughs> oh my god this should only be hand tight jesus seriously there we go okay i like to do it slowly so it just doesn't go anywhere it just it all goes in there perfectly okay so while that's draining what i like to do and what some people say to do is to pop this off that'll give it some more air there we go yeah see how it started coming out faster okay so the coolant has stopped draining pretty much just little drips now but i'm going to drain a little bit more but while that drains there's three clips on here there's one right there there's one right there you see it a little gray plastic and then there's another one on the bottom down there by the by the radiator hose we're gonna take these off first i already disconnected the battery over there so we will take this off right here. This is very simple. Clip, boom, it's out. Then it's attached right here. You want to try and get that out. You might probably, probably have to get your uh, flathead, but I'm going to reach down here and get the other one unclipped. If I can, I might have to go from the bottom. I also need two hands, but you, you get the point. There's one clip down there and it's clipped onto this little thing right here, which you can get a flathead and pop that out. All right, guys. So that's the third clip right here. There's the two clips on the side over there, and this is the only one down here. All you gotta do is unclip that. It is held on, if you are if you haven't taken your radiator off, it is held on by these two little clips right here. They do not come out. You're gonna have to unlike, you're gonna have to get some wire cutters or something and clip them off, because they do not come out. So literally, just that one. There you go, unclip, put it to the side. And that's it. The radiator is pretty much loose other than the um, radiator hoses. So let's take those off. Okay guys, so let's get to taking this radiator hose off and the bottom radiator hose off. Basically, if you never take these Hondas off before, these clips are they're the worst. I hate these clips so much. Then you're probably not going to be able to get her off that easily. Just moving around a little bit. Oh, hold on. There's, make sure that clip is out of the way, too. That's down there. That clip is literally right in the way. Do this slowly, because I've done this before fast, and then completely, completely flew off and my knuckles went straight into the engine and it cut my whole hand up. All right, so that came off pretty easily. Um, get the bottom one off. Right, so the bottom hose is the same exact as the top hose. Literally right here, let me get the clip off, which be careful with this one. Don't go too fast because there's a lot of sharp shit down here you can cut your hand on. Yep, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. All right. Okay, guys. So we have the coolant hoses off. We have the coolant drained. We have the plugs off. All we have to do is unbolt these two little things, and we can yank her right up. So yeah, it's just these two bolts, which are tens. It literally says ten on the top of them. I got my little baby ratchet because these shouldn't be too tight. I'm actually gonna put the coolant cap back on. 
everything, take the little bushing things off, and she should lift right out. Okay guys, so that's the radiator out. All right guys, so you're not done yet. Um, the new radiators do not come with the fans. So you have to take the fans off, which are just Phillips heads, giant Phillips heads. I'm using my drill because I don't know where my normal Phillips heads is, my screwdrivers. So we'll just pop these out. And you got four over here, which I'm gonna have to take the reservoir off first before I do that one. That's basically it. The radiator is good to go. They're probably, they normally want the drain plug back because it comes with that and that. So if you're taking this to AutoZone or you're going to get new one from AutoZone, this is basically everything that you're going to need right here. But I'm going to go run to AutoZone real quick, get a new one, get some oil, we can do oil change too. And then uh, I'll be back here in a second, guys. All right? All right, cool. All right, guys, well, we're back. Um, new radiator. This one's in a lot better shape than the other one, so hopefully this one works out a lot better. Still some dings in there, but what can you do? So pretty much everything that we did taking off is just the same thing putting back on. So let's knock it out real quick. Now we have everything put back on the radiator, so I'm gonna throw it back in. Um, so pretty much just drop in. Um, yours should drop in a lot easier than mine. Um, I don't think I ever made a video on it, but I the this car fell off the jack and hit the radiator support, so my radiator support is bent down there. So my radiator is my radiator does not go in exactly the way it should, but yours should just drop right in this battery thing. I do not remember getting in the way last time. There we go. All right. I probably just broke it in half. You know what? Like you see how mine is like that? Yeah, my radiator support's bent down there. That's pretty much it though. It's in. Um, it's using red tape. I can't find my glue. So I'm just gonna use this for now because I like I said it's Sunday. I can't do anything about this. They didn't have it at all zone. Couldn't find it anywhere else. So we're just gonna do this for now. Ignore the red duct tape. Eventually I'll get the right one and get put a new one on here. But for now, we're just doing it this way. Let's I like to put these in first, get her situated. All right, so these are screwed in. Like I said, my radiator is off because it's bent down there. I'm gonna actually plug everything back in first. Secure cap, um, coolant reservoir, the plugs, batteries back in, this little box is back in, everything is back in and tidied up. So now we're gonna fill her up. Um, I'm looking at the manual here because um, Google sometimes is just not right. Uh, I don't know if you probably can't see it, but if you still have your manual, it's right here on page 267 of the manual. Actually, 266, sorry. Automatic takes 1.32 US gallons on the six cylinder so all right so we'll put that in there you fill that up and i'll show you how to do that real quick so let's let's uh let's do that all right guys with the car completely off we're gonna pop this out we're gonna fill the radiator up first pop that out if you have a funnel definitely get a funnel that would be your best freaking bet start pouring let's turn the car on With her running, you want to pour some more in there so it's overflowing and it starts popping all the air bubbles out. So what I'm looking for now is air bubbles to come popping up, get all the air out the system. Yep, see that? See how I'm getting all these bubbles? That's exactly what I want, getting all these air bubbles out. At least that's how I was taught to get the uh, air out the system. Okay, 
so there's a moment of truth. Everything's in, fluid's in, got it in the box. So we're gonna start her up, let her run, make sure she doesn't overheat, make sure the fan's cut on, and that's pretty much it. So let's see. So we cross our fingers for no leaks. We also cross our fingers that this radiator is actually better than the other one. And already, it is. I think I see blue coming out of the cracks already. Are you serious? Look, y'all, look at this. You see it? I don't know if you can see it or not. Is there? Oh, I think it's coming out of the hose, actually. These hoses might be past it. All right, guys, I know it's kind of loud, but I just want to explain real quick. I seem to have stopped the leaking from this uh, hose. Seems to be stopped. Um, so I'm just gonna, it's just dripping a tad right there, like a little bit. That's really hot. Bottom one, bottom one's not leaking. I'm not getting out of the car, but check the bottom one's not leaking. So we seem to be good. Everything seems to be running. The fans, you see them, they're running. I forgot to plug in one of the plugs over there, which is why I had no AC. I was like, why do I not have any AC? Then I realized I forgot to plug in one of the plugs. So I plugged that back in and AC's good to go. All right, okay, so I mean, that's it. Not that you could really feel it because you're not here, but <laughs> it is working. <laughs> and she's at temp, no overheating. So that's good. Yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. That's uh, how you do it. All right, guys, that's it. That's uh, that's how you change the radiator on a 2006 Honda Accord V6 3.0. I think it's the LX or EX, one of those. They, they have the same engines. As long as it has the V6, it doesn't matter. It's exactly the same. That's exactly how you do it. Uh, I told you I wasn't going to do any B-roll or anything like that. I want to make a nice, simple how-to video on how to do this. It seems the leaks seem to stop. It seems to move the hose and reposition the uh, clip. It seems to stop the leaking. We have no overheating, which is good. Um, other than that, that's it. That's, that's how you do it. Well, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. I'm putting out a lot more videos. I'm trying to be a lot more freaking with them. So if you like my content, please subscribe. i got a lot more coming to you, um, a lot more Jeep stuff. Other than that, that's it. I'll see you all later. It's really warm out here. I'm very surprised it was quiet making this video. Excited. That's just actually fucking quiet. The kids play basketball, nothing. It's great. It's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.